So there we go, that's my plan. But before any of that, um, I've got something else to look at instead. No, not instead. This is an MGTF. Look at it, it's blue. Yeah, trophy blue it is. It's a 53 plate and it's got a steel wheel on the back. It's also got um, some extra badging, which I don't know what that means, and a bit of a rusty boot. I don't know why. But the other parts that are normally rusty don't seem to be. The roof looks like it's in not particularly brilliant condition, but probably still usable. Just about. As you can probably see, this car is uh, in need of a few jobs and it doesn't work. So that's going to be my task. Can I make it work? Or is it gone way beyond working? I've been in a couple of MGFs. I've driven a, an MGF as a test drive and an MGTF twice as a test drive. But I've never owned one. In fact, I've never owned a two-seater soft top car. But now I do. Yes, indeed, my lovelies. This is my car. I haven't paid for it just yet, but I will be doing quite soon. This is uh, bought as a project or as a parts car. It does have a couple of things that make it a bit tricky as a project. There's an awful lot of bits to put back together and this engine isn't firing up either. And well, I'm not entirely hopeful that I can get it going because the chap who had it before was actually a mechanic. And this car was put back together and it never worked. So what hope have I got of resurrecting it? First thing I need to do is put a battery in there. That might all work out. I might be able to get to the bottom of it. I might figure out what's wrong. I mean, it, uh, it can only really be no fuel or no ignition and that's really it it's a relatively simple engine but the worst is yet to come because even when it does fire up it's going to make a horrendous racket because yes the cat has been cut off of it so armed with some brake cleaner and some carpet I'm going to go down there and see what the damage is and see what the damage is Well, that's actually kind of good news because what's happened is the cat has been cut either side of the pipes rather than the other way around. That is good news. I was half expecting it to be done the other way around where suddenly it needs a back box and another parts of exhaust as well, just like the 600 air over there. There we go, this will be uh, battery on. There we go. Oh, that's strange. Oh, stop it. Stop that noise. Stop that noise. That battery's not good enough. Before going any further, should I give this car a name? Normally, I end up giving a car a name when I collect them, but this one's a bit different. So, going off the registration, DE. What's DE? DE's uh, Derbyshire, postcode. Derby. Donkey Derby, horses. Knackered horse. Yeah, it's only got three legs and it doesn't run. 
That's its name, Knackered Horse. Anyway, now with a bit more power going to the pantry, let's see what the symptoms are. Ah. I'm sure you'll agree that sounds like low compression. That's low compression. As it sounds like that, I thought I may as well check the timing on it. But it's very difficult to see the timing marks when the engine's down there. It's a tradition to take pictures of cars that come into the yard. Yes. So there we go. A rather early 45 414. Yes. Not 414, a 1.4. Copper leaf. Copper leaf red. Nice. And it is nice as well. Detailed with. <laughs> Very nice. Almost as nice as you, my young friend. Thank you very much, sir. This is okay. <laughs> is it real? If nothing else, people do want me to go to shows. Yes, Nigel was kind of invited to go to the Tatton Park show on Saturday. And uh, so I've got tickets. So I will be there uh, this Sunday. Delivered by Matthew himself to here. And not only did he do that, he brought me beer. Yes, beer. What a good chap. I must express my gratitude to my lovely lady friend for bringing me these beers. I'm going to drink both of those tonight. Not only did he bring me some beer, but he brought along the ticket for Tatton Park that I haven't had to pay for, and he came up with tonight's video title. All very good. And of course, it was also very nice to see Tom, who just collected something basically. He didn't bring any beer, the miserable sod. Back to the jobs in hand. It seems that the MGF engine wasn't mistimed, everything was in the correct place. But it sounds like it really doesn't want to go at all. So the next job is going to be to do a compression test tomorrow just to see that you know, it could be something else dreadfully wrong with it that uh, wasn't picked up on. Which means it's now tomorrow before Benny Jazz Max officially goes back up for sale. And tomorrow it will be before Rhiannon can have that bush fitted to the suspension. That's how I can manage it in one day. I might not be able to do it. Have you seen how long it takes me just to do what I did today. Join me at Project Nigel tomorrow where I successfully open a package of crisps and eat three of them. Perhaps that's the kind of video title I should have.